there's a silver lining to high 7 and 8% mortgage rates. You're definitely going to want to watch this one. We know rates have been ascending and they've touched in the high 7 to 8% range in the third and fourth quarter here. And there's actually a silver lining to all this for some people. It's not going to be for everybody. Before I get into all that, if you learn something from this video, you like what you hear, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and like the video. It would mean a lot, and especially if you're able to get some value out of what we're putting out there. So we know that rates have been going up. They're up just under a full percentage point on a 30-year fixed loan from where they were this time last year, coming in in the high sixes. Today, they're getting quoted at 7.75% on a 30-year fixed. And obviously, it's not great when rates go up and the cost to lend goes up. The cost of money is going up. There's no question there. There's a lot of folks that have really not been happy with the current market conditions, whether they've been trying to buy a home or maybe sell a home and go buy a new one. They're getting shut out on inventory. They're getting outbid on properties constantly. So what we're seeing is, and I'm going to put some charts in the video here. Nick's going to put them in post uh, edit that demonstrate all this. The first piece of good news or the, or the first silver lining to the higher rates is that we're seeing inventory grow. We're at the highest number of homes for sale all year. We're through 10 months of 2023. We're seeing the highest number of homes for sale all year. And that number is climbing and it's looking to beat the peak of last year right now, according to this data from Housing Wire. And you can see this on the chart that we're talking about. Locally, inventory is up a little over 9% year over year in terms of the month supply. So how many months supply is on the market, how long it would take for the current inventory to get exhausted. So that's the first silver lining, meaning there's more options out there for people that want to purchase a home, whether you're selling and buying or just trying to buy a new property. The second piece of silver lining is that a lot of folks just don't want to get into bidding wars. They don't want to get in these competitive situations. We're approaching nearly 40% of all homes on the market have experienced a price adjustment, meaning that prices aren't on this hockey stick-like rocket growth that we've seen. We're seeing that not everything's selling. You know, I mean, literally months ago, you hear things from people that say, well, everything's selling above the asking price. I have to get into a bidding war in everything. And that's not the case right now. What we're seeing happen is that the market is adjusting to a more normal appreciation. We're projected to see a little over 2% appreciation next year, a little over 3% appreciation at the end of this year, year over year in the US. So we're seeing prices continue to go up, just not at that bananas clip that we saw from 2020 up until where we are right now, where home values went up 49% since the pandemic, according to Zillow. So we're seeing prices appreciate at a more normal rate, which is going to help people that want to buy or want to sell their home and buy a new one. You're not dealing with that incredible year over year growth. And you'll see that in the chart that we put up as well. So those are two pieces of silver lining there. Here's the other thing to think about is that when rates go up, you see people back off in the market. That causes less buyers to enter the market. And we're not seeing a demand problem. You can see from a lot of the data that we're talking about, demand is still there. We're still seeing homes locally in the suburbs sell right at or just above 100% of the asking price in Philadelphia. It's closer to 97%. So we're seeing that there's demand when homes are priced properly. There's also people backing out of the market entirely. And when rates do come down, there will be more competition because more people are going to jump back into the market. The last chart we're going to put up here is what's called the lock-in rates and how they limit new inventory. So what you're seeing is the percentage of people that have less than a 3% rate, that have a 3.01 to 4% rate, 4.01 to 5% rate, 5.01 to 6, and above 6. And this is based on their likelihood to sell. So when rates go up and buyers back out of the market, you're still seeing less competition, which is the good news. When rates come down, you're going to see more homes come to the market, and there's going to be more competition because everyone's playing on the sidelines right now. And when you buy a home, and if any of you have refinanced here watching this, you know this is the case, you lock in at the sale price. The rate becomes negotiable based on market conditions and your ability to complete a refinance. So while there's some challenges with 8% rates that are very real, we're seeing inventory grow. We're seeing sellers adjust their price in line with the market. We're seeing you have more time to bid on a property. You're not dealing with bidding wars, appraisal gaps, waiving inspections. And we're seeing that because there's going to be less competition, it's going to put you in a more favorable position to be able to get the home that you want on the terms that you want. 
So yes, there is risk at 8%. 8% is not gonna work for everybody. 7.75% is not gonna work for everybody. What this is going to do, and what's gonna be really important here for you, is that it might help you get into the home you want. And if you're gonna be there the next 15, 20 years, or even the next 10, 11 years, and you expect three to 5% appreciation year over year, we're gonna put up our final chart here, which is what the predictions are for the next five years, according to the Home Price Expectation Survey, which is a survey of 100 plus economists around the country that predict pricing, you're gonna gain net worth. You're gonna gain equity in your home. Your equity is gonna be in a safe place and you're able to hopefully renegotiate the rate when rates come down and refinance. So there is opportunity here and it's all the more reason to get in touch with someone that can help you navigate it. Right now we're seeing 10,000 homes sell a day in the US. And if you're thinking about making a transaction, you wanna schedule a call with us, click on the link in the comments, we're here to navigate this for you on your time frame and show you the pluses and minuses that exist in the market.